Hello and welcome to lesson two in my series, uh, Melodic Freedom, Soloing in Jazz Without Scales. In this lesson we're going to talk about playing over major seven chords. And uh, today we'll, we'll use F major seven. First uh, melodic idea goes like this. seven chords will notice that we played that exact same phrase uh, built off of C. Uh, in this case I played that phrase built off of D. And the reason I did that was uh, because it's not uncommon that jazz musicians would uh, think about the relative minor when soloing over major seven chords. So let me repeat that again. Um, it's not uncommon for jazz musicians to develop melodic ideas based off of the relative minor when they see a, a major seven chord. So again, in our case, I played an F major seven chord, and that melodic idea was based off of D minor. But you can hear that it really gets at the heart of that F major seven sound. Again, uh, for those of you that didn't have a chance to see the first lesson. I'll show you the fingering really quickly and you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm starting on the fifth string with my index finger. I leap up two frets, one fret with my second finger, up to the fourth string, uh, up to the tenth fret with my second finger, and my index finger goes up to the third string, ninth fret. I slide up a fret, lay it down so I can play the second string as well. Then I'm up to the 13th fret, 2nd string, 2nd finger, and uh, index finger, I'm going to lift up my guitar so you can see this, uh, index finger, 12th fret, and then pinky finger, 15th fret. And it's the same fingering on the way up as on the way down. The next idea down uh, near the open position and it goes like this. Open D string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, third fret, fourth string, and I move to the third string. Second string to the fifth fret, index finger, third fret, first string, pinky finger, first string, seventh fret. Again, same fingering all the way down as all the way up. Now, I'd encourage you to practice those over and over until you can really hear the sound of F major seven, and then once that is happening, then you start uh, applying these ideas over different major seven chords, C major seven, G major seven, E flat, so on and so forth. All right, see you next time.